<laughs> I am going to read the translation of this because we only have his side of the story and that shit that we saw and that shit that we saw on um on Vic's channel. So I'm going to read uh the post. Um I'm gonna read the post that it came from so we can get another idea of what happened in that hospital room. Okay. Um this is from Mia Hernandez. It says, um, Ashley Diaz Smith chose Bishop return to pay the account at the hospital where her daughter was born. Text posted Facebook by G-I-N-E-C-O-O-B-S-T-E-R-A who attended his wife. On Friday morning, 3 a.m., I received a call from the hospital, hospital's angels, Villa Hermor, Hermosa, hospital angels, Villa Hermosa, and obstruct an obstetric emergency of a 21-year-old female with pregnancy of term with labor. For her attention, it should be noted that the patient is North American named Velvet Marquez. Um, it does give her middle name, but I'm not going to give it out. 21 years old. After... The review, I detected that she had a bladder full. I replaced um, Foley probe to enter, to empty it since I had, since she had a liter of urine that was extracted. After that, I heard the heartbeat of the baby and I made a, and I could touch it vaginally. I found four centimeters of dilation of 80%, the baby syphilic, sepflic, let's C E P H A L I C in the pelvis, full membrane um, indicating that it will go to work for surveillance. In working room at 5.30 a.m. again, I perform touch and um, ambio, ambiotonomy, clear liquid, um, the, and, help, and helped me with my cell phone with the translator. I explained that it was necessary to place an obstometric analgesia to migrate their pain to which they answered that they would not accept the that labor wanted they wanted the labor as natural as possible and preferably not a c-section I accepted this and kept watching all night and morning at 11.30 a.m. of the day, approximately with nine centimeters of dilation. The patient was in despair and I wanted the patient was in despair and wanted to go out to the street to take sun and air. I mentioned that you can't because at five in the morning I had already done the amyotonomy if I took it out to the street and walked it could be the ambiblical it could something with the ambiblical cord the husband annexed image chose Bishop said he did not accept raised her in his arms and took her to the front door at 1245 for his wife to take air and to take air in the sun. We helped him with the wheelchair. He indicated that he that he 
We told him that he could not take her out. That upset the husband. We insisted that he should not do it. And that and he said that he would return and he would return to the working room without access and began to argue that he was a patient, not a prisoner, and that he had money because he was going to pay for the services. We explained that it was necessary to place the obstructic analgesia to try a vaginal childbirth like they wanted with the forceps since they did not accept the c-section finally approximately 20 minutes passed and returned to the workroom once there we had the anesthesi we had an anesthesiologist that would put the The, obst the obstructic analgesia would be placed in the gynecological position and would try to place the lower forceps to avoid the C-section if it was not possible. Immediately, a cesarean operation would be carried out. Preparing the room, we went to expulsion at 1430 hours approximately. Approximately when the anesthesiologist applied the obstructed analgesia without applications, without complications. And then we placed it for the attention of the birth via vaginal. And at 1450 approximately through the placement of the forceps, we got the newborn with 8 to 9 of 33 grams of the woman's okay I don't know how to I don't know how to translate that who had a D Y S T O C I A a dystrosia of shoulders that was resolved favorably through the maneuvering of a screw. The birth was spontaneous, but the husband did not allow us to cut the umbilical cord until something the placenta. We agree we agreed to the request. Uterine sluggishness was present as expected in such a prolonged labor. Unfortunately, it was solved. Fortunately, it was solved with massage, cavity review, and uter uranoctomy. It was without complications. The the episiotomy made previously once recovered passed she was passed to her room and given a given something at 11:30 a.m. of today January 19th 2000 she's probably meant 19 instead of 18 no complications to her or the newborn by doing the process of exit and providing fees of both the hospital and the medical team gynecologist assistant pediatrician and anesthesiologist what was my surprise that the patient only had six hundred dollars for the payment of the entire service Um, was insisted that it should liquidate the total debt and the amount to approximately 4,000 Mexican pesos as it had very as she had a very prolonged labor and the attendance of several specialists and doctors however there was no way there was no way they paid However, there was 
No way of knowing how expensive it would be, he said. Watching a patient for 12 hours to attend labor as they as they wanted to as they did not want to risk serious complications that could affect the image of a doctor and my profession, I lost all of my consultations that day, as well as the pediatrician and the anesthesiologist. Like my helpers work under pressure, which means that the charge we demand was very little for so much work. Still, with the good translator, they explained not accepting the payment, arguing that with the $600, I reached for every, he had paid for everything. The present publication aims to make knowledge to President Trump. Ooh, so that those Americans do not come to our country since they only come to mock and take advantage of our work. I hope the wall is done and done soon. And another reason is to ask Mexican authorities through different secretaries to find these people and demand payment to me, to my fellow doctors and to the hospital. I will not rest until justice is done. Not me. I imagine a Mexican doing the same in his country. In two hours, he will be in jail and deported. I would appreciate it if you help me share. And together, we make these people pay what they have to pay. President Trump, do your job. Go get Eligio Bishop. Mexico now wants the wall. <laughs> it's more than one way to skin a cat, huh?